Royal Green Lab is a cannabis testing facility. Uh, we work on performing scientific assays of various different types related to cannabis, including um, microbial contamination, uh, fungal pathogens that actually grow on cannabis, uh, potency testing of cannabis products, um, and looking for other types of contamination that may occur as a result of either cultivation or processing of cannabis. I would suggest that an anthropologist going into a dispensary or retail store read the fine print that is required on the back of all cannabis products and then ask the bud tender what product safety testing has been performed on this product. One of the more commonly used fungicides in uh, at least on cannabis related to fungal growth is uh, miclobutanol. Miclobutanol is a compound that has known very low toxicity if ingested by humans. It's broken down actually very quickly but when uh, pyrolyzed or burned, it creates hydrogen cyanide gas. So one of the studies uh, that should be required is to determine if the levels of miclobutanol that are present as residue in cannabis, when burned, do they create harmful enough levels of hydrogen cyanide to cause health effects in smokers versus, say, those who are ingesting it. My concern is that there are many rules and that there is very little enforcement, um, which rules without enforcement mean nothing. Uh, pesticide testing is not even required and it would be required of any other product where an industry uses pesticides as extensively as this one does. I, I very much enjoy what I do. Um, there are many foundation questions, very fundamental questions um, of cannabis science that have never been asked because it's been illegal for 70 years. I get, to, I get to discover entirely new things every single day.